Hi, I'm Stephanie Wood, and I'm a participant in this Art Everyday Month challenge. And this video is tapping for some positive motivation. And I just made a video of some of the negative stuff that had come up that I tapped through. So if you have any blocks or frustration or anything, um, or feeling the pressure at this point in the, in the challenge, feel free to watch that and tap along because it will help you, it will hopefully help you release some of that. So this one is some positive tapping, which you can do after you've released some of the blocks and the negativity or the whatever's in your way. So now some positive tapping on getting motivated and inspired and clearing space for creativity to flow. So I'm just gonna do some positive tapping, tap along if you'd like. You can use your own words, you can follow along with mine. There's no real wrong way to do it. So even though I feel a little blocked still around creativity and motivation and um, having ideas flow through clearly and easily. I acknowledge anything that might be in the way, consciously, unconsciously, and that's okay. Even though I still seem to have a little bit of blockage and I'm not feeling as motivated as I'd like to, that's okay, and it's okay to let it go. Even though I probably still have some creativity blocks in there, I acknowledge that and that's okay too. Okay, top of the head. I give myself permission to allow everything to flow. Inside the eyebrow, I give myself permission to stop judging everything. Side of the eye. What would it take to allow the energy to just flow through? Under the eye. What would it take to feel relaxed and to just have fun making stuff? Under the nose. What would it take to feel relaxed and allow the flow to just flow through. Chin. I'm open to the possibility of just allowing everything to be. Collarbone. I'm open to the possibility of just enjoying the process. Under the arm. I'm open to the possibility of having zero attachment to whatever it is that I'm doing or making or writing. And the wrist. I'm open to the possibility of feeling inspired and motivated. And take a breath. Okay, I'm gonna do another round if you like to keep going. <laughs> I feel like it's starting to move a little bit. So even though I still feel a little bit blocked around this, I acknowledge all of it. And I'm just gonna do one, one of the setup phrase here. Top of the head. All this creativity inside of the eyebrow. Everything in the way of feeling really creative. Side of the eye. It's okay to let go of all the blocks under the eye. Who would I be if I just lived in the flow? Under the nose. Who would I be if I just relaxed into this chin? I give myself permission to relax into this process. Collarbone. What if it could just be fun? Under the arm. What if it is just fun? And the wrist. What if anything that's not fun about it is just a bunch of stories I made up? <laughs> Top of the head. What would it take to get really inspired and motivated? Inside of the eyebrow. What would it take to allow everything to flow through? Side of the eye. 
in a way that is appropriate and feels right under the eye. What would it take for me to get out of my own way? Uh, I think that's the secret <laughs> under the nose. What would it take to get out of my own way? Chin. Who would I be if I could just allow it to flow without attachment? Collarbone. I am open to inspiration. Under the arm, I'm really wide open to feeling motivated. And the wrist, I'm so open to motivation. Top of the head, it's okay to let go of all the stories and all the thoughts keeping me away from that. Inside of the eyebrow, everything in the way of motivation and inspiration, side of the eye. I release and let it all go now. Under the eye. I let it all go. Under the nose. I choose to feel motivated. Collar, sorry, chin. I love feeling motivated. Collarbone. I love feeling inspired and motivated. Under the arm. I love that feeling. And the wrist. I love feeling like I'm in the flow. And take a breath. Okay. Well, I'm feeling a lot better. I think I'm actually going to, um, I might go sit down and try and work on some stuff. So I hope that helped. I hope you get inspired and motivated. And like I said in the last video, you all are inspiring me on a level that I can't even, I can't even express how grateful I am to all of you. Um, this has been amazing so far and you make my mornings amazing when I look at my Facebook feed and my Instagram feed and see all the like gorgeous and amazing, just amazing stuff. So thank you everybody. And um, I hope you enjoy this tapping video. If you have any questions about tapping EFT uh, or any things that you feel like you would like to clear that you would like a video about, I'm really happy to make that. So hope you have a great day and uh, see you soon.